Hello guys, I am Swastik Sharma and today I will be talking about active infrared sensors. So let's go. So infrared sensors have two types, active infrared sensors and passive infrared sensors. And to understand these two types of sensors, you need to understand what infrared rays are and also what infrared sensors are. And if you don't already know about them, I would suggest you to check out our previous videos on infrared rays and infrared sensors. Before understanding the working principle of active infrared sensors, you need to understand one property of infrared rays. So infrared rays have the property of reflection. So if they fall on the surface of an object, they will reflect off of the surface of that object. So if we take light rays for an example, when we look at a mirror, it's basically light rays reflecting from the surface of that mirror. So the same happens with infrared rays, but it's just not visible to us. There is another term that I need you to understand and that is the amplitude of a wave. So the amplitude of a wave is basically the wave's displacement from its equilibrium position. So if I try to explain it to you in easier terms, it's basically how far the wave is going from its equilibrium position. Getting back to infrared rays, suppose you have an infrared ray emitter and this emitter is constantly emitting infrared rays. So if you keep an object in front of that emitter, infrared rays will fall on the surface of that object and will reflect off of the surface of that object. So if this object is kept closer to the emitter, the amplitude of the reflected ray will be different than the amplitude of the infrared ray which is reflected from an object which is kept far away from the source. This helps us establish that if we have a source of infrared rays which is emitting infrared rays at a constant wavelength, then the amplitude of the reflected infrared rays will be relative to the distance of the reflector object from the source of the infrared rays. So the two main features of active infrared sensors are that they have a transmitter and a receiver. So the transmitter will be continuously emitting infrared rays at a certain wavelength and the receiver will try to receive the transmitted infrared rays. The transmitter and receiver are kept in two different variations for two different purposes. And in the first one, the transmitter and the receiver are kept opposite to each other and there is empty area in between. The transmitter is continuously emitting infrared rays and the receiver is continuously receiving those infrared rays from the transmitter. So if an object is kept between the transmitter and the receiver, or if a person comes between the transmitter and the receiver, then the receiver will stop receiving the transmitted infrared rays. And this will basically help the sensor determine that there is an object present in front of the sensor. And this can help the sensor trigger something. By trigger something, I mean a door, an alarm or anything that is needed to be made automatic. So if you go to shopping malls, the automatic doors that open when you stand in front of them are basically because of the infrared sensors that are installed in such a manner. The active infrared sensors that are installed in such a manner. So the disadvantage of this variation is that the infrared sensor doesn't know the distance of the object from the sensor. So to overcome this disadvantage, the second variation is introduced. And in this variation, the transmitter and the receiver are kept next to each other. When the transmitter and the receiver are kept next to each other and are facing the same direction, then the transmitter will keep transmitting infrared rays at a specific wavelength and the receiver will try to receive the reflected infrared rays of that wavelength. So this can help us determine the distance of the object from the sensor. So for determining the distance of the object from the sensor, the amplitude of the wave, the received wave is calculated and this amplitude will help us determine the distance of the object from the sensor. So this distance of the object from the sensor is used a lot in obstacle avoiding cars. The distance of the obstacle from the sensor is determined using the infrared sensors and this can help the car maneuver itself away from that obstacle. That's all about active infrared sensors and you know so much about them now. I'll be uploading a video on passive infrared sensors in the future. But if you want me to make a video on a specific topic, feel free to comment that topic in the comment section and I'll definitely make a video on that topic. If you like this video, do subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you know when I'm uploading new videos. Thank you.